Hey everyone! In my last video, I pointed out several politicians being hypocritical during the health crisis, and within hours of publishing it, even more instances had come to light. And it was enough content to make a new video, so I guess this is part two in an ongoing series. This is the mayor of Austin, Steve Adler. In a video shared on his Facebook page on November 9th, Adler warned residents of a spike in the number of cases. Our numbers are increasing and everybody has to be aware of that. And then we need to, you know, stay home if you can. Do everything you can to try to, to keep the numbers down. This is not the time to, to relax. What you might not know is that Mayor Adler was giving his message from his family's timeshare in Mexico. And before he flew to St. Lucas on a private jet, must be nice, he hosted a wedding and reception for his daughter at a hotel in Austin. And after the news broke about his hypocrisy, Mayor Adler decided to address it in a Facebook video. But first, he showed this chart and talked about stage three risk-based guidelines. When we're in a yellow zone, we say that it's okay to go to restaurants. Uh, but of course, we've asked you to, 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 to eat outside uh, because it's safer. Uh, we've asked you to keep your party at the restaurant to, to 10 or, or fewer people. Okay, so keep your party to 10 or fewer people, and it's not a problem for the mayor, just as long as he's setting an example and following the same rules himself. Uh, the first week of November, my daughter got married here in Austin. And like many other brides, uh, she had to cancel her original plans uh, in order to follow the rules. The problem is, in her subsequent plans, she didn't follow the rules and neither did the mayor. According to KVU in Austin, the wedding and reception was attended by 20 guests. And that went against stage three guidelines to avoid social gatherings with greater than 10 people. Sarah was beautiful, the wedding was beautiful and intimate, and most importantly, she was, she was happy. Translation, I will break the rules for my daughter because my sweet little girl's happiness on her wedding day takes priority over following arbitrary guidelines. Furthermore, the website for the hotel where the event was held states, Hotel St. Cecilia remains open for a very limited number of essential travelers and those that need a space during these strange times. Oh, so does it mean that the hotel deemed Adler and his guests to be essential travelers? Anything to make the mayor's daughter happy, I mean, that's what's important. And as his trip to Mexico, a trip that included eight other family and immediate family members? I recognize that my travel set a bad example. Uh, I recognize that the fact that I took that trip and at the same time was continuing to urge people uh, to be cautious is confusing. <laughs> nah, just hypocritical. I know that others have chosen not to travel uh, under the same circumstances. And I know that in my position, I need to send a clearer message. I'm sorry I took that trip. And we're sorry that you're in a position of power. It was a lapse in judgment. And I want you to know that I apologize. For the record, there is nothing wrong with traveling or hosting an outdoor wedding at a hotel. Live your life. But you shouldn't be doing those things if you're telling others that they should avoid certain situations if they can, when you won't. It's not brain surgery. Then there's Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards, who was photographed at a country club standing next to a table of people while not wearing a mask. A spokesperson for the governor claimed that someone at another table spoke to Bell Edwards and that he briefly stood up to speak to that person while forgetting to put his mask back on. The spokesperson also stated he is not in violation of his own orders. He had his mask on the entire time that day, except when he was eating or standing. Uh, if you'll see, I was outdoors at a table. I, I don't know exactly. Uh, it looked to me like I was getting up to leave. Had that photo been taken 10 seconds later, you would have seen me with a mask on. But that's the point. He didn't have it on when the picture was taken, and without that context, it looks like he is flouting the rules. Furthermore, when his spokesperson said that the governor forgot to put it on, it could be interpreted that the governor maybe needs to take his guidelines a little more seriously. 
And it doesn't help that the governor is doing this at a country club that you will never be invited to, chilling out with his fat cat friends. Well, here we go with the fat cat bashing. Then you have St. Jose Mayor Sam Licardo, who is very concerned with public health, and you know that he's super serious about it because he's wearing a mask in his profile picture. The day before Thanksgiving, Mayor Licardo tweeted, Cases are spiking, in part because we're letting our guard and masks down with family and friends. Let's cancel the big gatherings this year and focus on keeping each other safe. The next day, the mayor attended a Thanksgiving gathering at his elderly parents' home in Saratoga with seven relatives from five different households. And as you know from my previous video, California restricts gatherings with people from more than three households. When NBC Bay Area News initially reached out for comment, the mayor's chief of staff responded, this is a private event, not public. We're going to redraw the line between what is personal and what is public because that line has become blurred. In other words, yes, he was violating state restrictions, but he was doing it in private, so mind your damn business. In an interview on NBC Bay Area News, Bagad Shaban bluntly asked the mayor the following. Did you not know about the state health guidelines or did you know and just decide to break them anyway? I rationalized and believed, well, if I'm outdoors and I'm only with seven members of my family uh, and we're all sitting at three different tables and we're spatially distanced and we're all wearing masks, I rationalized it would be fine. In other words, Mayor Licardo knew about the rules and didn't give a fuck. This is brutally hard. Uh, these rules are tough. Uh, I know I broke them. So I know how tough it is to follow the rules. These rules are really tough. Don't you see? He's the victim. <laughs> but let's face it, he didn't think he was going to get caught. Then there's San Francisco Mayor London Breed. <laughs> Great name. The San Francisco Chronicle reported that Mayor Breed had attended a birthday dinner for socialite Goretti Lou at a restaurant in Napa called the French Laundry. And you might recognize that name because that's where California Governor Gavin Newsom attended a birthday dinner with 11 other people violating a state requirement prohibiting gatherings with more than three households. And remember, this is a requirement that the governor approved and then disregarded because he didn't think he was going to get caught either. What can I say? He's better than you. As for Mayor London Breed, three days after indoor dining at the French Laundry in the very room that Gavin Newsom and his lobbyist buddy celebrated, Mayor Breed banned indoor dining in San Francisco. So she can do it safely, but you can't. She's better than you. After the news broke of her outing in Napa, Mayor Breed and members of the San Francisco Department of Emergency Management conducted a live stream. I do want to address the issues about the restaurant I visited in Napa County. As I said yesterday, it doesn't matter if I was technically, if I wasn't technically violating local health orders, because I know that as mayor, I should hold myself to a higher standard. So while she may not have violated local health orders, it's likely that she violated state health orders. According to the press director for the mayor's office, eight people attended the dinner. And the names of the dinner attendees were not provided, but we can do some math. Along with Mayor Breed, of course, was the birthday girl Goretti Lou and her husband Lawrence. So that leaves five mystery people. And unless the mayor's office gives us those names, we have to assume that the mayor is hiding that there were more than three households in attendance. Which means that technically, she probably violated state health orders. I know that none of us thought that in 2020, we'd be in the midst of a global pandemic. Who would have thought that this would have ever existed in our lifetimes? The impacts we've all experienced on our mental and emotional health have been tremendous, and that includes me. Oh, I see. The highest paid mayor in the United States who gets to attend birthday parties held at three-star Michelin rated restaurants is suffering just like you. <laughs> yeah, we're not buying it, princess. Anyway, to close it off, I present to you my favorite moment from Mayor Breed's Zoom apology. Enjoy. I think about the people whose lives I'm responsible for, that the decisions I make impact people's jobs and their families. And I'm doing my very best for this city. No one is perfect and certainly not me. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching, sharing, and slamming that like button. 
A special shout out to Poofy for all of her help with the script this week. And as always, be sure that you're still subscribed to the channel. And I hope to see you next time.